the actual fertilization of the embryo takes place in the fallopian tube, usually, and then after uh, several uh, cell divisions, the blastocyst then implants within the uh, uterus. And you could probably instantly recognize this tissue here as being uh, villi, or the little papillary structures that you see with the placenta. And out here, where we have some focus, you could see good differentiation. In fact, you can see good differentiation now everywhere in this uh, outer sort of epithelial looking zone called the syncytiotrophoblast and then the uh, lighter more uh, actually uh, syncytial looking tissue connective tissue called the uh, cytotrophoblast. Notice also that none of these villi uh, even the larger ones have any significant amount of blood vessels. So that makes this a, a, an immature placenta. Here are some villi, here's where it branches out. The reason why I absolutely love this slide is because it shows you the absolute difference between decidua and placenta. Decidua is maternal endometrial stroma under the influence of progesterone. And it looks very endocrine looking and it looks kind of yellowish. It looks kind of like a corpus luteum in a way, but it's totally different from placenta because placenta has this classical syncytiotrophoblast on the outside, cytotrophoblast on the inside. It has a very intimate relationship with the maternal uh, endometrium, which is now decidualized, which happens a little bit, as you know, with every uh, monthly cycle as well. In the lat latter stages of the secretory phase, the stroma becomes a little bit decidual looking. Actually, they call it pre-decidua. They would probably like to save the term true decidua for an actual pregnancy. And I love this because it shows the placental villi, the decidua, and then last but not least, the uh, myometrium. Notice there is hardly any more normal looking endometrium. The entire endometrium now is decidualized. I would like to tell you something else as well. If you actually look at the uh, nuclei of decidua, uh, you can be very, very scared because even though there's a lot of cytoplasm, the nuclei can become very, very big and dark looking. Uh, and quite frankly, uh, you know, you don't have to feel embarrassed if you don't have much experience and all of a sudden you're looking at a high power view of decidua and you say something incredibly stupid like, gee, I wonder what kind of malignancy this is. Uh, remember, the uh, placenta and decidua uh, are in a way kind of the most malignant type of tissue there could be because it is one of the most normally and nicely invasive type of uh, tissue there could be. Uh, it's necessary for these things to be abundantly invasive. Otherwise, the baby would never uh, grow, would it? So this is all normal decidua. This is all normal, immature placental villi. And last but not least, under the decidua, which is defined as the endometrial stroma of pregnancy, we have what we would expect to find the smooth muscle of the myometrium. This is a 12-week implantation site. Thank you very much.